Hello guys, this is Ace of Games, and today I'm going to be doing something different. So uh, recently I was contacted by a, a review agency who asked me if I wanted to review a product from Rolling Fire. I said yes, of course. Uh, the product is actually a gaming mouse. So what they did was they provided me the funds to buy this so I can go ahead and, and review it. Um, the link for the item will be in the description down below. So now let's get to something. Okay, so here's the product. Is the Uesu Uesu Z7900 uh, competitive gaming mouse. Uh, right off the back, it's in a uh, plastic container, um, which is actually unique. I never seen a mouse come inside of a plastic container before, so that's good. Um, as you can see right here, I notice um. It's from, let's see, I don't know what country it is, but it is an Asian product. I know some people are going to yell out, you know, Asian products suck, which that happens to be the case most of the time. Sometimes, sometimes you get lucky, you know. I've, I bought some Asian products, which has been good to me, so. All right, let's get this open. to get this open so it was like a foam cushion in the front and here we have the mouse itself which I'm about to take out uh, before I move on I should name some of the features um, that this mouse has Oops, what was this hmm. so some of the features are gamers dedicated support strategy games shooting games online role-playing games uh, see special software support macro recording and macro editing um, memorize five groups of user interface settings. First, keyboard accommodation set with the mouse one touch setting, which is convenient and quick. Um, look at the resolution. It has a re high, it says high resolution, uh, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, and 4000 DPI default switch. Uh, it also has ergonomic design with metal base, and it's compatible with both PC and um, notebooks. I also f heard that it's compatible with Mac. Um, supports Windows XP, Vista, 78. It also supports Windows 10. I've actually looked that up. And click lifetime time is over 5 million times. So that's good. And then you can see some of the stuff over here as well. Uh, what's this? So here you have our uh, software disk that you put which will allow you to control the lights and the settings of the mouse. Then you know you have a little booklet, which is in foreign language that I cannot read. Yes. Oh, well, no. Here we go. It's in English right here. Okay. So, so even though it's like it's an Asian product, they do acknowledge their you no know, English speaking customers as well. As far as Spanish goes, uh, you're out of luck on that one, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So you're right about, got the bottom of the mouse. It's actually uh, metal. It feels like, I don't say, aluminum? Maybe stainless steel, probably. But yeah, it feels very nice. Um, it had these little uh, risers right here for the sensor. Uh, it says right here. Uh, settings switch, click that, I guess that switches the settings on it. Um, optical, optical gaming mouse, made in China, okay, so it's a Chinese product. You look at the front of the mouse, it looks very nice actually. It feels very comfortable, it feels similar to my Red Dragon mouse that I currently have. Um, it actually has a lot of buttons on it, wow. 
that's great. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess it's the light and DPI button. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. It's a 12 button gaming mouse. That's awesome. Uh, again, you have like the, um, not fire, but like mat more material wire cover. The USB 2.0 port, of course. Um, very nice. Uh, those Velcro strapped together so it doesn't get all over the place. Um, so, what I'm about to do now is I'm about to actually test out the mouse and show you guys the different settings on it. Okay, so right now we're about to go ahead and click on the uh, program that came inside the uh, software disk. So here, as you can see, it gives you your different options of you know, assigning you know, what functions you want for each button. You, know, you have all this happening. So say I wanted to make button number seven in case I, I start gaming. I want to you know, go advance. I go. I go lock, run, open explore, close window, switch window. I can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. I can choose a lot of different functions. And that's one thing I really like about this. Let me see. Watch. This. Say I want to. Oops. Oh. Say I want to be that. How was that? Now I can use it as a dash button or underscore button. Uh, I'm going to change that back right now. See, uh, so yeah, you can do these different functions. You can change your acceleration, change your pointer speed, your scroll speed, your double click speed. Uh, you have your different pulling rates. Mine's right now on 500 hertz. Uh, then you go to your DPI, you can customize your DPI levels. Right now, since I didn't want the blue lights shining on my uh, mouse, I chose, um, I had DPI 1 up to here, which is my desired DPI, so that way I don't have to turn on, turn up the DPI and activate the blue lights. And speaking of the lights, you can go ahead and go over here uh, to your lights area. You can customize your light color. Mine is red. Uh, uh, for full brightness so it doesn't blink but any of these other options uh, the light on the eagle sign will blink uh, this also alters the light for the scroll wheel, the scroll wheel as well now um, nothing I forgot to mention is um, on the bottom of the mouse itself there's a setting switch that you can press to turn it what I have to do I have to press the uh, setting switch in order to get all my colors to turn red because we try to do it here. You can only change the color of the eagle and not the actual scroll wheel, the scroll wheel itself. So you have to click on the settings, and hopefully you'll find your color in that area. And then your different profiles and everything like that. Then you color green and everything. Like this. Yeah. So here, you alter your profiles. Which now what I'm doing that it alters the color on the on the wheel as well. So that's good. So that's awesome. So I'll go back to here. So you know, go to info tells you all this. Uh, don't bother going to this. This website doesn't work. But um, that's generally this is a gist. You can save your settings right here. It's a gist of what you can do on this program. Um, not a whole lot, but it's definitely a lot of useful things to do here. Um, let's see, no, cancel. So, um, another thing I forgot to mention is that it's, all, it's also a weight mouse. So you can take your weights out and customize what weights you have. Uh, that little black case you saw earlier actually holds the weights. So you put your weights in there. And, um, oops. Um, you can actually you know, customize your weights determine what amount you will put in there and things like that but um, overall um, the uh, the mouse itself is a very good product I would recommend it to other people again though if you want to buy it you can find the link down in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube um, or everybody else will be watching this review on Amazon 
But um, again, y'all want to you know, thank Rolling Fire for sponsoring this uh, review. And uh, I definitely will be using this mouse in the future. And, and again, I would highly recommend that. I give it a solid five stars because this is the mouse I've been looking for at a cheap and affordable price. Uh, but again, you know, Gay Y is still at $35 right now because the original price is um, 89 I believe. So, yes, um, that's going to end this review. If you enjoyed, be sure to click that like button. And, well, if you're on YouTube, click that like button. Or if you watch this on Amazon, be sure to go ahead and buy the mouse. And this has been Ace.